Hey Aries, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours before August 25th to the 26th of 2023. Alright, let's get started with an oracle card message for Aries. August 25th to the 26th of 2023 for Aries. Something about butter. I don't know why I saw butter. <laughs> Someone could be nicknamed Butters or their pet could be named Butters. Cloves, gossip, garlic, repel. That made me think of lapels. <laughs> Catnip, bond. And overall energy is mustard, faith. Hmm. Someone could have been repelled from something due to gossip of others. Yeah, I feel like there was gossip around something. I don't know if it was you or someone you're dealing with, but there was gossip around something that was repelling a bond. But someone's deciding to have faith in it instead. Overall energy being faith. So this could be something as simple as like, there's gossip around a certain work field or industry that you want to go into. And other people are saying you shouldn't do it or other people are saying you should do it. Regardless, you're going to decide to have faith in yourself and do what you want to do. Because I feel like something could be gossip is trying to separate a bond or destroy a bond or repel it. But I see you having faith or someone here is having faith to go towards it anyway, or to make it stronger. So let's get into the tarot and see to get more for Aries. So this doesn't have to be a person, but it can be for some of you. It could be anything. Family, friend, work, or love. Next 48 hours for Aries. I don't know why my sign is doing that. I think it's because I, um, I was messing with it. And the colors... Like, the, I was messing with the settings before I cut the reading on. And now it's changing. I don't know what happened. Nine of Cups. Eight of Swords. King of Wands. There you are. And Three of Pentacles. Give me a second to adjust this. Because I don't want to start your reading over. Oh, and Five of Swords. Ah, uh, yeah. So give me a second to just try to fix this. Because they got me messed up. All righty. I'm going to leave it there because <laughs> I don't want it to start acting up again. <clears throat> if it does it again, I'm throwing it out the window. <laughs> I'm annoyed. But anyway, yeah, I see you working it out through your pentacles. You could have been all up in your head about something because you have wish fulfillment here, nine of cups, right? And you're all up in your head about this. You want this. And I see you taking action towards it and it ends up working out with the five of swords is the overall energy. That's you winning at all costs, but that could also be the harsh judgment and gossip surrounding something that you are going after. Now with the three of pentacles and, and bond, it makes me think it's a person or a pet. Maybe people are against you getting a pet from a shelter or a pet with like an abusive background, but you still go after it anyway because that's what you want. Or a field that's kind of harsh where you are forced to like, not forced, but you end up bonding with people with harsh backgrounds or pets like that. But this could also be like a friend or a lover that you are deciding to work things out with or have faith in a connection with. And I see you getting your wish fulfillment. So let's clarify and get more for Aries. I just feel like there's the gossip that's trying to repel it, trying to stop it from happening. And I don't think people are going out of their way to try to destroy it. I just feel like people are just spreading word of mouth. They're just repeating what they've heard. I don't think anyone's like out to get you. Clarifying the Nine of Cups is the Knight of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone, they want to fix a bond with you. Someone wants to work things out with you. Hierophant Taurus. This could be a government entity, a job, or this could be someone you were married to or who is thinking about marriage or you dated seriously at one point. Regardless, this person wants to take things to the next level. They want, they're want they trying to take you seriously. Whether this is a family, friend, work, or love, this person is taking you seriously. Yeah, they wish for a higher commitment with you, a higher commitment from you. 
clarifying the Eight of Swords is the Sun, Leo. King of Wands again. So you could be dealing with another fire sign. We have Leo here with the Sun in the higher font, Taurus. So you could be dealing with the Taurus as well. Or someone could have these placements anywhere. I just feel like, just like um, you can't get this person out of your head, they can't get you out of their head. Or maybe you're not thinking about someone, but this person is thinking about you. I feel like someone has seen a situation clearly where they felt trapped as well. Maybe you felt trapped in a job or a relationship, or you felt trapped in a certain cycle in that job and in that relationship. But I see you seeing clarity and a way out with the sun. Clarifying the king of wands, the seven of wands. So you're standing your ground. You could be very guarded against this three of wands, or you could be protecting this. I said three of wands, sorry, three of cups. You could be protecting this actually, because I was getting more of a defensive and protective energy over this three of cups. So there's two sides of this. One side of you is guarded against this reunion. You don't want it. Others of you are defending this um, union. Now, there's another group where you're willing to let someone come back, but you have boundaries. Clarifying the three, I mean, everyone has boundaries, but you know what I mean. It's like, sure, we'll work this out, but this is never going to happen again. Clarifying the three of pentacles is a six of pentacles, and this person is giving you equal give and take. So it's going to be fair. That card, Scorpio, yes, something about a union is changing. Something about a friendship, a group is changing. Some of you are ending it and some of you are working it out and changing it for the better. If the choice is totally yours, this is a general reading for every Aries that watch. Every Aries that watch is not going to have the same exact situation. Overall energy is the Ace of Swords. Truth is being spoken. Clarity is being spoken. That's what you're getting. Truth and clarity about each other. The, everything's going to be laid on the table. And it's totally up to you what you decide to do. But for this group that I'm reading for, it seems like there's going to be equal give and take here. And the, a union's going to change. Others of you are standing up for yourself and very defensive like Seven of Wands. No, it's not happening in Death Card. Ending it. And if some of you, if you just got back together with someone, you ended it and you're having faith for a better bond elsewhere, others of you are reconciling. This is a clear cut difference. You know where you go in this. All right. But I'm seeing if that's, if you want reconciliation, it's possible. All right. And the signs you're dealing with is Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. I mean, every sign is here. I'm just naming the major arcanas. But a lot of harsh truth is going to be spoken as well. I feel like from your end, more so, you're going to be standing up for yourself, speaking your truth and having, I feel like you have faith in this bond or someone else does. If it's not you, the other person has faith. But I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings and love. Namaste.